we made some stock improvements uh, from last week to this week at both ends of the floor. Um, really, really happy with both our defense and our offense. We, we threw a lot of nice bounce passes, and we knew we were going to play against a team that doesn't shoot a lot of threes, so we really wanted to do a good job of choking the lane, guarding the paint, and blocking the right shots. We were good on the break. Our defense was good. Our offense was good. Um, now we're going to play a team Tuesday that is the direct opposite. They're going to shoot a lot of threes, and now we got to guard the line. Overall, very pleased. Did a lot of really, really good things tonight. Um, I don't know what was better, offense or defense. Both, both were really good. Is that about as, as well as Donovan can play on offense at this stage in his very early in his career? You know, I I didn't think he was that spectacular to be honest with you. Yeah. What, what what did he do to impress you so much? He didn't miss a shot other than one free throw at 14 points. Well, you're a big Donovan fan. I like Donovan. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you, you always ask him. Hey, just to understand, I, I love Jeff, and he'll, he'll text me if I don't play Donovan. Is Donovan hurt? <laughs> no, he did play well, uh, uh, obviously, but I, th I thought the whole team played well. I think because he didn't try to force things, he let the game come to him. I think that's one of the reasons he played well. But all, these freshmen are all really good. And they're going to have their nights. Uh, he, he didn't even play that many minutes. I mean, what did he play, 18, 19? Um, 17. Three steals as well. So he did play. You were on top of it, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> He's the eighth player in Louisville history that scored 14 or more points in their opening game. Thanks, Kenny. I told the guys after the game, I, I said, uh, if I had to pick something I was really pleased with was his attitude. You know, I, I was going to put him in with three fouls. So coach, I got two fouls. And then I said, Nanu, he said, don't worry about playing me. Let the other guys play. He, that was not a last year. You know, it's, uh, he's really matured, really played well, did a good job of switching and containing the basketball. Coach, what does it mean to have the ability to switch all your screens and still be able to contest pretty much every shot on the court every time now? Especially against a, a small driving team. That, that's what impressed us. We're a pretty good shot blocking team. I thought we were very smart tonight. The way we played, we, you know, one of the things I found out, I told you from last game, is these guys are young, so they get a little nervous in front of the bright lights. If you press in the beginning of the game, it gets rid of their jitters, and they get, they get to the flow. They score easy buckets, and it helps us a little bit. Not that we have to stay with it, but it helps us. Coach, you said uh, this week wasn't the best week of practices. Do you think you guys maybe felt challenged by you or the staff to come out and sort of redeem themselves tonight? When did I say that? Did you not say that on Ramsey's show today? I don't remember. Uh, practice was pretty good, actually, this week. Um, so, no, I just said I'm nervous about about it. You know, it's the guys. The guys are practicing really well. Um, so, uh, no, we, have, we we haven't really had too many bad practices the whole year. Uh, we're just trying to put new things. Like we worked very hard on our press this week, which we haven't worked too much. We're working hard on our man to man. We still even haven't put in our zone yet. Were you? I mean, you got you had some good defensive droughts. I guess you would call them long stretches where they they couldn't score. Just your half court. And, and the important thing is when we switched we go down the lane down the lane down the lane and then block it at the end and that, that was good the only the only thing weakness we did and you could see it is two things that they're calling right away is illegal screens they're, they're looking for that call i'm not sure honest uh, if whether that's an illegal screen or not and then the other thing that any bumping in the backcourt is a foul so we got to keep moving their feet because they were shooting a very low percentage and they got a lot of offensive rebounds from the missed shots, and then they were 12 for 12 from the line in the first half. So we got to be careful of that. Coach, you all had 19 assists on 30 made baskets today, and it looks like I think uh, nine different guys on your team had an assist. What can you really attribute that to? Is it surprising at all for a team that's young that hasn't been together that long to really distribute the ball that well amongst themselves? Well, passing has been our biggest weakness. And tonight we threw, the more bounce passes you throw, the better the team you're going to be. And we threw a lot of bounce passes tonight. Now, that being said, this team plays a lot of matchup zone and tries to confuse you. We finally got them to play a little bit man at the end. I thought we attacked very, very intelligently against their press. Um, Trey did an excellent job of clearing them out, looking up the floor. Um, 
they were very willing, although passing is not the greatest skill, they're very willing to pass the basketball. And I, I know they'll get better because they, they really work at it. You said the other day that you wanted your guys to kind of stop thinking a little too much. I mean, tonight it seemed like they played with a lot more freedom, a lot more. You know, the freshmen, it's very tough because they're trying to learn. And I, I met with Donovan the other day. I said, Donovan, just, just play. You're going to make mistakes. I said, you haven't made a tenth of the mistakes of Peyton Siva or Russ Smith. I said, just play. Don't worry about it. Just get out there and play and, and not worry. You're going to make mistakes. The good thing is we got shot blocking to cover for your mis mistakes, and he did that tonight. What's it mean that the team, uh, that Damian Lee was able to pick up two fouls early, go to the bench, and still play so well offensively, scoring about 48 points in the first half? That was good. It's, it's always a blessing because, you, you know, you're going you're to play without him. Um, and what he's got to learn is, is the two fouls that he had, I don't think either one was really a good foul. So if you play with your hands up on defense like this and press, what they do is they run into you and then they, they tangle you up and the defense always gets the call. So you got to look to play a little bit lower. But that's a good sign. But Dang Adele is a hell of a basketball player. Now, I know his numbers don't look at that, but you're going to see freshman this year. You're going to see Dang's going to have a great night and the next night he's knocked Donovan's going to have a terrific night like he did. And then, and then Ray, believe it or not, has the most talent, but he has... Physically, he, he, he needs, obviously, 210 pounds. He just needs strength training more than anything else. How much do you draw from uh, Shinanu, uh, five blocks and only two fouls? He, you know, he's really matured. Last year, he was, you don't realize sometimes, he came in here at 16 years of age, turned 17, I believe, in November. So he's been really, really young. You look at him and you think, obviously, he's a man because of size, but he's really young and he's he's matured. I think the experience of playing with the um, the uh, under a, a 17, no, 18, whatever it is, and, the, and the winning the Olympic gold medal really helped him. But he's really a good basketball player because he's, like Montrez Harrow, he's the smartest guy on the team. You, you wouldn't think that centers, you know, Nana really understands the game very well. And he'll, he'll get after these guys defensively when they make a mistake. And so for a sophomore to understand the game as well as he does speaks volumes. And he's going to keep getting better, better, and better. He's a very good passer, too, for a big man. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>